Hi everyone, it's June 14, 2012. I'm Dwight Schmuck. This is the Schmuck Look. <clears throat> in the past few days, this kid in West Virginia, Caden Cowger, Cowger, Caden Cowger, sorry to mispronounce your name there, has been all over YouTube because he had a radio show, radio broadcast deal. He's 14. He, uh, got on got the attention of the Young Turks they did a feature on him and he's had a ton of death threats and uh, he well, he said that Obama is turning kids gay uh, because of the statement Obama made that hey you know okay we can accept that there's going to be gays and there's going to be lesbians and yep yeah, we'll accept them because what the hell society is which is also basically true. Now, this kid, he's 14 again, so let's keep it all in the context of he's 14. I knew a hell of a lot of things, too, when I was 14. So did you. So let's everybody take a couple of deep breaths here and remember what it's like being 14. And, you know, like I said, there was a ton of hate mail and a lot of death threats. You know, it came in the form of email, so, it, you know, it can be tracked, but hey, come on. Most of these people were using some kind of screen name. A lot of them went to a paper, the hour place to send stuff, and, you know, death threats. My God, he's 14. <sighs> be serial here. That's fodder for the antis. It really is. It's, oh, these guys are so wild. Well, you know. He said that, you know, it's against it in the Bible and you're going to go to hell and be eternally tormented and you, he's got this thing he wants to tell people that, you know, and save them and stuff and, and this is in the Bible too and he gets angry when they won't listen and they walk away and tell him to shut up and stuff. Well, people don't want to get told they're going to hell for being different and, yeah, okay, I'm not homosexual, I'm firmly heterosexual, flaming heterosexual, you know, I come to your town, lock up your wives and daughters, I hate to break up sets, I've been using that line for years, my wife is not happy when I say it, but again, we've been married for 30 years, so, you know, I have a wife, woman, and I'm not homosexual, I don't endorse either lifestyle, I am this way, they are that way, it's yeah, okay, and from time immemorial, people, really, get a grip here. From time way past, you know, past when the Bible was written, folks have been trying to exterminate homosexuals. Hitler was almost on them as bad as he was on Jews. But he was on homosexuals like he was on gypsies. You know, if you didn't have enough, if you didn't have enough Jews, it was okay to kill them too. Really, honestly, Hitler was, so was Stalin. It didn't stop it. It never will. It's a fact of nature. It's a fact of life. Somehow, I really don't think God said those lines in the Bible. I think that some guy who was holding a pen 200 years after Christ added those lines because there's you know lots of stuff lots of chapters of the bible that aren't included in the editions of the bible we enjoy today or that some people enjoy folks get a grip it's gonna be i live in vermont the first state where the legislature okayed marriage of homosexuals you know we didn't have to go to court for it. our legislature was legislatures legislators we're smart enough to listen to the people who said, you know what, the sun's going to come up tomorrow anyway. Might as well, you know, sell these people licenses. Duh, it's a revenue stream. <clears throat> there you go, and it'll keep the divorce lawyers happier too. And anytime you keep a lawyer doing lawyerly business, he's not trying to do yours. Let him go. Have a nice day. <laughs> It's a win-win situation for everyone. But no, let's fight the hell out of it. Call these people damned. Why? Because they're different. 
like I said, I was 14 at one time also. There were some things I said and did I wouldn't be proud of today. So let's keep in mind he's 14. And a lot of these emailers, the hate mailers, they're also in their teens. So they've got hormonal emotions too. But let's all get a grip here, take a few deep breaths. I'm with Cenk Uger, the main host of the Young Turks. Yeah, he's 14. He, you know, he's responsible for, he is a bully. He really is, because when you tell people that they're bad, you're being a bully. That's bottom line. Simple common sense. He may not have realized he's being a bully. That's entirely possible. He's 14. When you tell people they're bad for just going about their lives, inflicting no harm on you whatsoever, I'm sorry, you're being a bully. And we got to get over that syndrome, too, that each one of us knows so much better than the other guy how the other guy ought to live his damned life. Are you listening to me? They're government people. See, this includes everybody, not just this kid in West Virginia. But get a grip, people. He's 14. Enough with the hate mail. And the station, the broadcasting system, put him back on the air. He was funny. I'm Dwight Schmuck. That's the Schmuck look. Peace.